I want. I was doing some research for this, so I went and listened to some uh, some music. I listened to uh, Taylor's version, Taylor Swift's new music. Have you guys heard of it? The re-release of her album. Uh, if you're cheering, you're not gonna like the rest of this. <laughs> I listen to all of them though, they're just longer. They're no better, it's just more of the bad, you understand? Like, it turns out reclaiming them in the name of fake feminism doesn't make shitty songs better. <laughs> just makes more of them. Done with Taylor. I just don't like Taylor Swift's music all that much, but I am fucking done with Taylor Swift's fans. Like, as bad as the music is, the fans are a thousand times worth. I can see how deadly quiet the music is. People are all like, we agree, but we don't know if we can do it vocally. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's just like, here's the thing. I think we should stop calling Taylor Swift fans Swifties. I think we should call them Swiftleys, because they're swiftly destroying individualism. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I've just agreed that Taylor Swift is okay to make a white woman shut up. Like, it's not about always white women, but it is. Like, it, they're just younger Karens, Taylor Swift fans. They're just, they don't have as much years in them. Like, it's true. But here's the thing, and like, I don't have a problem with the music itself. That's not great, but I have a problem that like, a lot of Taylor Swift fans, whenever I say I don't like her music, just assume I'm a sexist. Like one time I said, yeah, and I'm not really into Taylor Swift's music, and a woman I was talking to was like, that's fine by me, I'm used to men not liking women in power. <laughs> wow. Wow. And I said, madam, I will have you know that I am married and I am never on top. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 